Hi, this is Chris Ann, and I'm coming at you from Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Deb. And today we are going to make this gorgeous piece with Lavinia stamps. So you can either do a card or you can do, like I do, matted pieces. So we're going to learn the ink blending and then we're going to use one simple stamp and then color in the details. So let's get started this is three variations using the exact same colors and we're using Catherine cooler inks today uh, to blend with and then the stamping is done with versifying claire nocturne so let's discuss the colors that we're going to be using today so for Catherine cooler colors we're using sangria tiara and grass skirt and I am going to be ink blending with these brushes. They are not the life-changing brushes. They are, in fact, brushes that I did get from the dollar store many moons ago. But, you know, my life isn't changed from the life-changing brushes. So let's give these a try. Another thing that I do that uh, saves a little time and energy is, number one, I'm using the Nina 110 cardstock and I'm also using that to create my very colorful mats. Um, these I use when I want to do my ink blending and I have them in all different colors. So it's my template. It's my stencil. So these are great. I have also created um, a mylar version out of some stamp packaging from Robert Stamps. So we're going to just use the paper one today. Now, I do have these in three different sizes. It depends on my mat, my black mat that you saw earlier. That is what determines what size of this circle that I'm going to be using. This is a little warped. You can see that. So let's just use some washi tape to just kind of hold this down in different spots. I'm also going to get out my inks. Now, for me, I like to use my lightest colors either first or last, not in the middle. And I kind of like to blend those a little bit differently. So today we're going to be using the Sangria. You can see that I'm inking up my brush generously. Trick is to take some of it off. You can either take it off on your glass mat, you can take it off on the paper. I actually take these papers when I'm done and I put them in a junk journal. So yes, they're colorful. So I'm going in circles. I'm starting in one section and I'm just coming in to that section. I've kind of divided it into thirds since I'm using three different colors in my mind. So let's go to grass skirt next. So these are Catherine Pooler's, the new um, inks. They are a dye-based ink, but they are also water reactive. And I'm going to show you, so let's take a little bit of this off. That gets these sort of striation lines. I don't want that on my piece. I want this to be very smooth and very blended together. So you can see when it comes to the purple, I'm not always a fan of colors blended with purple. Not always a fan. It comes out well in the end though. Now I do have one of these brushes per color family. So I have one that I use for all my yellows, one I use for all my greens, etc. Oops. Yeah, I didn't tape down the paper, but I taped down my other thing here on top. There, easy fix. So let's take some of this yellow off and we're going to come in. So I start off the paper. I'm coming in. I'm blending this into the green. I'm coming over here and I'm blending my yellow into my purple. That's it. It's as simple as that. You can use any shape you want. I just happen to be a fan of, of the circle. I like the way the circle looks. I'm getting ready to stamp. So when I stamp, because I'm using an unmounted stamp, I like to put down a mat, I mean, a, a nice cushy mat underneath so you can either use from foam you can use whatever works for you when i said these inks were water reactive these are the ones that i have done 
that are the non water reacted one. Let me show you the ones that are water reacted. So let me get those out. So here I simply spritzed a little bit of water. I'm using a fine mister. I'm using this one. I cannot find my Tim Holtz one. This is on watercolor paper. I don't like it on watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is thicker and it holds the water better, but I don't like the tooth of the paper. It didn't hold the detail of the stamping. So here is this without stamping on top of it. And you can see how pretty the water reactive is. We're not going to be doing that today only because I suggest you leave your piece once it's been sprayed with water to dry for an hour or two. Even if you're using your heat tool on it, I still like to let it sit for a while to fully dry. Your paper does warp. That's okay. You can iron it. <laughs> not that I iron anything, but you can iron it. So here, let's move our mouse pad up a little bit with our paper on it. We are going to be using Aurora today. Aurora is by Lavinia Stamps, and I purchase all my Lavinia Stamps from DelBellosDesigns.com, located here in the States. She does ship worldwide. This is not a sponsored video, <laughs> but I do get all of my supplies are there from Patty's, the one that owns, um, not Lavinia, sorry, Patty's, the one that owns Del Bellos Designs. So check that out. Check out Lavinia Stamps. So here, I've just taken the stamp. I've mounted it to a clear block. This is all one stamp. Everything is in one stamp for you. So it makes it super easy. So we're using a VersaFine Claire Nocturne. That's the color, is Nocturne. Actually, let's use, let's use this one. I just re-inked these today. So I do suggest that when you go ahead and you buy the Nocturne, you buy the reinker at the same time. Now you can see I'm just touching the stamp along the top. I'm kissing it. I'm just kissing it to it. And you can hear there's a little bit of a that's the kiss. So let's take this. Let me get this lined up in my mind of where I want it to be. This is a large stamp. You can use a stamp platform if you want. And I like to live dangerously. So let's just give this a good push. I have one hand that's always holding my stamp down. I give it a gentle little rock. I just give it a push. Now let's hope I re-inked my stamp pads enough. If not, I'm going to show you a trick of how we can fix that too. Yep, I re-inked it enough. If I didn't re-ink it enough, what I can do is come in with a paintbrush touch it on my ink pad and just paint in any areas that I don't think are up to my standards. Super simple to do. So all we've used is four ink pads. Now let's go ahead and we can color this in. You can go ahead and you can use alcohol-based markers. That's perfectly fine. I happen to be allergic to those. So I am using the Faber-Castell, and I'm using primarily these two colors. So the middle purple pink, number 125, and the Faber-Castell crimson 134. So those are the two I'm using. I do use Copics, but when I use Copics, I either have to use them outside or I have to wear a mask because I am allergic to the ink. So I'm only touching the top of these flowers with this first one. And then let's come in and let's add some details. So I go from the bottom up with these. And it's just a little flower. It's just a little bud. I don't need to add a ton of detail. I'm just putting a little color in. That's simply all I'm doing. You don't even have to color these in if you don't want to. And then once that's done, whenever I create any of my Lavinia pieces, I like to come in and glitter the wings. So for the glitter, I'm either using my Nouveau pen or I'm using my Jelly Roll Sakura pen, and this one is a glittered one. So let's use the Nouveau. And I'm just coming in and I'm just adding 
some glitter and it's really hard to see that. See if you can get the glitter there. And then the other thing I like to do is I just like to do a, just a little dot at the base of each of these buds. It just gives it an extra little something. Now, next thing I can do is map my piece. Now, I would certainly trim this down first. So as you can see, the size of my circle is dictated by the size of my mat. If I wanted to come in and do a larger mat, I certainly can, and I can fit a bigger circle in there as well. But you also saw that I did this as a card. So whatever works for you, and there you can see the shimmer on the wings beautifully right there. Um, whatever works for you. So this is a card that's going to somebody that's uh, now in a nursing home. So that will be a lovely little gift for her, I hope. But the majority of the time I am selling my pieces matted. So let me get some of these here. So here's one. It's a different color scheme. It's matted. And I put it in a bag and, you know, it's this is how I sell it. Just like this. So for me, that's what works. And I get those on Amazon. So check those out on Amazon. But all the other products I do get like I said, from Patty at Del Bellows Designs. And it's Del Bellows Designs. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's her. Here it is. DelBellowsDesigns.com. Right here. It's Patty. So check that out. Tell her I sent you. If you're interested in any of my art, you can check me out at Elemental Energies with Christiane and Jeff. You can check out our website. I do have some of my art posted on the website, Christiane-Jeff.com. You can text or call the shop if you're interested, 207-641-5070. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this sparks your creativity, and I hope you're able to go forward and create some of these great, super simple pieces that are going to be wonderful little gifts to give to people or create a business as a side job. I wish you all well, and thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you and be free.